Hello and welcome to our very first Five on the Farm, where we spend five minutes talking about things that are going on on the Briar Creek Family Farm. Today we got 20 new Americana chicks. The Americanas, when they're about 20 weeks old, start to lay blue-green Easter egg. Well, they call them Easter eggs or Easter egg or chickens, but blue-green eggs. We're also going to talk a little bit about how we house our chickens. This is a chicken tractor. It's mobile. It's pretty easily as assembled and you can move it very easily. We put wheels on the back. You'll see that we actually took off of lawnmowers that were no longer working. Then you can just raise them up like you do on a lawnmower and move it. Really one person can move these. Here's Lee. Hey. He's putting our our new chicks. These chicks are just five weeks old. For now we have 20 of them in here, but this tractor is only made for 10, so we'll, we'll move them out, separate them out into two tractors later. Usually when we make tractors we try to use reclaimed materials. This one was made of all new except for, as I said, the, the tires on the back, the wheels. These Chicken wire goes around the entire yard of the tractor. We have too many predators, including our worst, our worst predator here is probably hawks. And even when the chickens are big, the hawks will come and just basically pull off the head of the chickens if they're not fully enclosed. Lee, you want to explain a little bit about the design? Okay. Um, the entire bottom is... Um What's that called? Um, it's treated wood. The entire bottom is treated wood. The, the corners are 4x4 four four posts with edges cut out to fit the 2x2s. Two twos. Um, Rosie zooming in on that. The, the front the front just is just a frame for a door with safety latches. We use safety latches to keep things like the uh, raccoons from popping those latches open. And then we have right here, we've got uh, an area where the uh, water bucket can, uh, it's just a standard five gallon bucket and where it can sit and get be supported. And underneath are these little nipples that you can buy online for a dollar a piece that just change, turns a regular bucket into a chicken water. Okay, and the top portion is the enclosed, the, the wood that encloses it, encloses it is um, water resistant uh, just from Lowe's and the interior are just two by twos untreated. And then on top we have some roofing material. I put in, as you can see, I put in a ramp for the, for the new little chickies to, to come up. And then you have two roosting um, uh, two by twos across here so that they can uh, roost at night. Uh, th this is about the perfect size for 10 adults, uh, just fine for the 20 adolescent ones that we have here. And he's a southerner, he's not saying 10 adults, he's saying 10 adults because we don't buy 10 chickens. Just a joke. Aren't they beautiful? These have a lot more variety than the other breeds that we've gotten. Looking forward to seeing them grow up and seeing their beautiful eggs. How much did this cost in materials? Um, it's mostly new materials, but um, right on $100 for all the new materials in it. And how long did it take you to build it? Um, if I had to guess, I'd say probably five five, six hours total uh, cutting and putting it together. The, uh, the most tedious part is a stapling of um, the chicken wire to the frame. Uh, uh, I don't recommend doing it without a, um, uh, a stapler, uh, either an electric or a pneumatic stapler. Preferably pneumatic though. The, yeah. the electric one didn't work quite as well as the... As the pneumatic one, yeah. yeah. Well, we're running out of time here on Five on the Farm. Glad you could join us. If you have any questions, go ahead and contact us. Have a great day.